Okay, so I'm going to show you a number of exercises that you can do to increase the stability around your hips, um, activate your glutes, and help with firming and toning um, your backside. Also, there will be um, other um, positives that come away from this, which will be that you will have better hip stability, um, more stable knee movement, um, because of how your, your hips are going to be sitting in the hip joint. So when we look at the hip and the glutes, there's a lot of muscles that do a lot of movement. Okay? They're not just um, huge movement makers, there's a lot of small movement makers in there as well. So we have to train in multiple planes of movement to make sure that um, you know, we're trained and we're strong enough for different movement patterns. So first of all, we need to identify how to uh, switch on the glutes. So I'm going to just do a simple set with Laura. We're just going to use my little finger and my thumb. I'm going to put my little finger on her glutes and my thumb on her hamstrings. Now I'm going to ask Laura to try to uh, extend the hip by lifting the leg up, uh, but doing it by switching on her glutes first and then her hamstrings. And as often times we find that the hamstrings is what activates first, and these are the main um, movement makers. Uh, in terms of when the leg comes up. Therefore, what we do get is we get extremely tight hamstrings and not so activated glutes, which therefore means that we're not strengthening or shaping the glutes in any way, shape or form. So a little finger off, thumb down, and obviously it takes a lot of concentration, but what we need now, we now need to do is lift the leg by activating the glutes, then the hamstrings. It's just a simple test to be able to find out whether they're switched on or not. Again. No, there you go. Really focus. Go again. That's better. That's better. And hopefully, you may have been able to see from the video that it went glutes and hamstrings. That won't be very easy for you, so give it a go and making sure that you really focus on getting the glutes for the hamstrings. Now, next up, I'm going to ask Laura just to lay over onto her side. Now, what we're going to train here. Uh, is your glute medius, so one of the, the big muscles that shape the bum but sits below the glute maximus, which is the, the meatier part. Now, to make sure that we don't um, get the quads involved, what will happen if you want to get the quads involved is the toe will turn up and then you lift the leg up. And then here, this is all quad and all hip flexor that's doing the work, whereas we want to just switch the glute on. So, what I'm actually going to ask all to do is uh, dorsiflex the toe. That means she's pushing the heel out, turning the heel up towards the ceiling. Now you can see that we've actually got a completely different uh, range of movement occurring at the hip. If you look as she turns the toe up, very different here. Turn the toe down. We're now really focusing on the glutes. Now what I want to do is just drive the heel up and squeeze. Take it back down slowly, keeping the foot facing inwards up and squeeze. Now it's very easy here to um, rock back and lift up, okay, which is again hip flexor. If you need to keep your hip tilted slightly further forward, you can often usually put your back against the wall to keep yourself in line. Now, what I'm going to ask Laura to do now is now keep the same position, but now bend the knee in. Okay, so now what we've done is we've actually extended the glutes over the hip. Now I'm going to put my hand here, and with a nice controlled movement, I want you to slowly come and kick my hand with your heel. Okay, and back down, and back in. So this is really focusing on the glutes because of the angles that we're at. You could do this at home for between 10 and 15 reps, nice and controlled. And one last one I want to show you today is just a hip activator. I'm gonna get Laura to stand with her side up against the wall. She's gonna lift her leg up, she's gonna stay nice and strong, nice and tall. And all she's doing is pushing her hips through the wall using here. Now this has gone rock solid. So this is an isometric contraction, there's no movement occurring apart from tension in the muscle. There's movement is occurring but there's no lengthening or shortening. So here, as you can see, it's gone rock solid. Okay, drop the leg, relax, not so rock solid. Okay, lift the leg, try and push your body through the wall using this leg, rock solid. So there's a number of exercises that you can do to start strengthening up the, the hip stabilizers and the glutes. Give them a go, any questions, let us know.